Uh, CD, if you need to take cover, I notice uh, that you've got your gas mask in your hands. If you need we, to put it on, we, we please have, do so. If you need to, to take cover, we, please do so. We, uh, if you are it. able... If you are able to take a question, uh, did you think that the possible threat would be over because it is now morning there? It's what, well, just after the, 6 o'clock in the morning? The, yeah, the whole thing is everyone assumed that the threat would be over because it was uh, early morning. But the thing about Saddam Hussein is that he has never done the expected. And right now we have, uh, you know, once again been uh, surprised with the unexpected, um, an air raid, uh, an apparent attack, although we can't say what the outgoing missiles hit at approximately 20 after 7 in the morning Saudi Arabian time. Um, all the other attacks have occurred from 10 o'clock at night till 4, 3, 4 in the morning. This is the first one to take place uh, in eastern Saudi Arabia during the daylight hours. Now that sound you hear behind me is the uh, Hotel War Richard Thicker. It's not the uh, national by afternoon. So people are looking up in the sky, scanning the skies to see what they can see. Do we see much of anything out there? Can we, can we see much of anything? Okay, well, apparently there was, there was, yeah, there was some word of, uh, of uh, outgoing. Again, there, we cannot be specific about the direction. All right, we are now led to understand that there are also firings in another city in Saudi Arabia. Uh, CNN's Carl Rochelle is, is here with me. He just came up. Uh, Carl, I know we can't be very specific given these restrictions, but uh, within those parameters, what did you see? Well, what I saw, I, I didn't see anything hit. I looked very, almost straight above us. There is a vapor trail coming from my right to my left, and there's a cloud of uh, something. It looks like it might have been an explosion of cloud. Uh, the white say. <laughs> He's uh, putting on a gas mask. There hasn't been any gas dropped here, but we could tell. You uh, smell anything? No. Oh. You, probably, you may smell some of the fumes from uh, a, uh, a missile exhaust going off. The missile is usually a rocket, a cordite, some sort of burning. And we just heard a little thump just then. But uh, I have to apologize for that. I, I had a whiff of something and felt momentarily uh, dizzy. You're more experienced. <laughs> no, you're in fear than I am, but it might have been a little... Um, gas from the, uh, from the rocket exhaust, but well, it wasn't anything. A lot of people have the respirators on just in case. And, and uh, again, you, uh, you run to get down here, you, uh, in my case, uh, jumped out of bed uh, hearing the air raid warning go on. You run down three flights of stairs to get out of here. It's probably a hundred yards. You hyperventilate a little bit, yeah. and you're nervous. Uh, one, thing, one thing we have to point out, just so people won't think people are panicking, most people are in their shelters, they've taken cover in their shelters, and in the time... We've been in Saudi Arabia. I've not seen any evidence of panic in the streets or people running around. People are not exactly taking this as a matter of course. Je suis un journaliste américain. This is a Scud. You can tell it by its distinctive label. Now, when the missile is launched, the first thing you look for is the plume sticking out behind it. Now, when you detect this, you can tell it's been launched. Thank you. I'm gonna go get my hamburger and my coffee. All clear. Every time I order something, this happens. All clear, thank you. Oh, I love this country so much. I'm starting to get real bothered by all this. Charles Jaco, CNN, reporting live from Saudi Arabia. No, wait a minute. Whoa, holy homeboy. I'm the talent. Yeah.